So with the fact that we haven't got the 84 or 85 times 10 back, it's going to be a little bit more of a grind, but we've got 99 Liao done. A very, very nice card. And to be honest, was kind of expecting him at some point. I can imagine Kovacskili is going to be not far behind him, but a 99 five-star, five-star that cannot play striker, I swear. Oh, his team of the season couldn't play it either. I thought it could. But we have got a good upgrade from his 97. It is only a double upgrade, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. But it is another 99 to add to your collection. We've got Finesse, Flare, Flare Passes, and Outside of the Foot as the traits for him. Maxed out pace. Pretty much maxed out shooting where it counts. Good passing. Long pass and free kick accuracy. Not being upgraded for some reason. Dribbling looks incredible. Good physical, good heading. Just a very good card all round. Coming in at about 550 in terms of price. Few SBCs, but once that 84 and 85 times 10 is back, we should be absolutely balling to get this card done. So let's jump in. He's a premium. Let's fit him in. I'd like to tell you about skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise, from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts, from trusted sellers, pro players, and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games, and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. Whoa, good physical gain from Liao there. Trying to really push it forward. Seems to me like he's going to be almost that ronaldo s sort of winger. Tall, obviously got the physical build. Now, obviously, as well, having huge amount of strength added and passing. It's going to be an interesting card to see how he kind of plays out. I feel like as a striker, he would work really, really well alongside someone like Haaland. Having just that immaculate amount of pace, dribbling, passing, shooting, the whole shebang should be relatively easy for him. As we see there, it's just a standard through ball. But again, being the taller winger compared to a lot of the five foot nine, five foot seven. Uh, kind of wingers he'll add that different element that Ronaldo sort of kind of did he was what I think 6'1 I'm pretty sure he is and he, he just is different in comparison to your Sterlings your Lewin, Luis Diaz's them sort of kind of uh, their wingers who are obviously a little bit more on necessarily the agile side from uh, kind of like a low rating in comparison to a 99 now Rudin off Haaland seems to be working really well Finds a bit of Lucio in. Tries the near post, but it's reason why he's a centre-back. Great tackle from Matthias, though, there. Again, making the run forward. It's got the assist play down to an absolute T. Can we get past this guy? This guy's team is absolutely spot on. Pele, Ginola, Haaland, Marquisio, Matthias. It is absolutely perfect. And it's what a lot of teams now are going to be like in August. With, obviously, that 85 and 84 times 10. So it is... A, a, a true re reflection of what you can obviously go against in terms of, I'm assuming that's the 99 Pele. It's not going to be as easy, oh God, as something like July to, to kind of really just ramp up the pace and it'd be absolutely fine. Everybody's got every stat. So it's most definitely down to how you play the link up and who you're actually using. We see that through ball there. It's great for him. Can we find Haaland on that byline? Gets the, oh, gets the cross, but not the head. Easy play again. Finds the wide option in Govu. Try and find a bit of Haaland. Can we find a little bit of play? Virgil with a great block. Again with Liao being in the right position. Just unfortunate just to miss out on that pass. He is absolutely center stage here. It's a good tackle from Matthias again. As we knew full well, he was going to be absolutely outstanding himself. A little bit of a fake. Can we go for the left-hand side? Gavin, the 5-5 five five as well is just another reason why we love these cards now. There is no weakness anywhere. He has everything you need. Pretty much like every player nowadays. They all have everything a player should have in every single position. Five-star, five-star, everybody. It is just an absolute overhaul of who you actually want to play with nowadays. Finds the ball in. Again, assisting like a madman. Oh, it's a good save from Donnarumma. Thought we might have just got him. And again, can we squeeze that through? It's a beautiful one. Haaland with the first time. Donnarumma again with a big save. The only problem is now is just waiting for these 84 times 10 again. Unfortunately, uh, it, it could be in an hour. It could be in 10. At this point, we don't know when they're going to come back. Straight back on it with a second half. 
he seems to be a nice player from what I'm what I'm trying him out now, but I would definitely say there's there's better options in the attacking side, especially if the limit is nobody. For instance, I like the Haaland just purely for brute force, whereas I like my Rashford personally for the agileness. Same with your, your kind of your Neymar and Messi's. They're not going to be the same as a 99 Ronaldo, but there is a different style with obviously uh, kind of Liao himself. It's a little bit different. I don't think he's got any free kicks by the looks of it. 76 free kick accuracy is not going to be enough when you've got Roberto Carlos chilling. Inside, flip flaps, tries to find something. It's very, very weak. Oh, it's a great bit of play. Tries to find it around, but it's a solid tackle. Really thought we had him there. It was a good ball from Haaland. He has the little fake step and he kind of sells him, but the tackle inevitably does manage to get him off here. I think as well, I don't know if it is this guy's team because it is, like I said, absolutely perfect. There isn't a weakness in any area. I'm surprised that, that he's kind of not having his way with a physical battle. But even with Kunate and I don't even know who his other centre back is. But if it's someone like a Lucio, he really should be bodying them as well. He at least should be winning quite a lot of the battles. I feel like him being, what, six foot something... He most definitely is that, that sort of player that, that should have no problems with most defenders. Maybe, I'd say 5 out of 5 he should be winning. Can we go for a head here? Oh, it's gone to Haaland instead. Ball. Get the little flick. Can we find an opening? Defenders ever It's Gomez. To be honest, he should be bodying Gomez. There it is. Left foot and Liao finds the break. There it is. Finds himself on side. Finds the assist and Govu. Brilliant assist. Answers straight back again. And again, can we get the chest? Good defending from Cordoba. Probably my new right back as well at some point. I've realized he can have a position change. Good pace. Solid, solid pace. That is more like it. Waiting for that. Oh, no. I was waiting for that commitment, but he didn't ever bring it. Oh, easy. Little dink as well. Oh, it's a stunning finish from Liao. Great work from Haaland, but Liao finally finishes it off. And that is what the composure really, really produces with a very solid chip. Oh, it's another easy one. Let it roll through the legs. Cut it back. Get the shot, somebody. Oh, stunning. Absolutely. All the way. Gets the corner. That's nice. Again, we're seeing a bit more agility side of stuff from him, which again, is always nice to see when you look at these sort of players. You want to be able to do the, the, the kind of tricks with him. Having the five star, five star is always good enough, but you definitely want to be able to do something with it as well. The, having the, the body type of a brick is only so fun at the start of the game when you can abuse the, the lengthy meta or something. Not when you're in the final piece and you want to have a little bit of fun with it. I was hoping to maybe have won a free kick. I really want to try out 76 free kick accuracy. It's not going to be enough, but it could do some damage. Oh, lovely. Little double ball roll. Finds the shot. It's a good block. Again, Haaland picks it, shoots it, and Donnarumma with a great save. It's why I say Donnarumma is absolutely phenomenal in the sticks. So going into the overall forum then. We're looking at a 99 rated. It's coming in at now 560. It's pretty standard. Obviously, with no 84 times 10 like I said, it's going to be a little bit harder to grind if you don't have a club full. But I can imagine that should come back. Today, hopefully, maybe tomorrow. I don't understand why it's not back yet. Surely it's just flipping a button to put what we had already back. But it is a 92 rated team, two 91s, two 90s, an 88 and an 86. Pretty standard in terms of an 89, uh, a 99, which we kind of come accustomed to now with Odengard yesterday only being two. We've had Matthias that was relatively cheap for a 99. It is now getting to the point where we know full well what we're looking at here. In terms of the card itself... We're looking at a sniper more than anything. That is going to be number one on the list with 98 shooting, 96 physical added. Gets him the kind of other side of his shooting as we've maxed out the, the pace. Dribbling is already absolutely fine. There is no difference between 99 composure and 97. You're not going to be able to tell a difference whatsoever. Passing wise... It is what it is, and that's why I do like him as more of a forward than a winger. Again, it would work for both. I don't expect him to do too many long passes, as I kind of want him to be the one that you're long passing to. So it kind of breaks down in that sort of side. And if you have him more as a striker, 
it kind of deflects that anyway. In terms of the card, I think he's absolutely stunning, as we know now. I feel like left wing, right wing have so many cards, it's unbelievable. We've obviously got Pele, Ronaldinho, Rashford, Neymar can play there, Mbappe can play there. A brand new Vinny now we've got, Liao himself, as well as many, many others that can play in that role. I would definitely say he's up there. I would, I'd, I'd choose Pele over him. I'd choose Rashford over him. I would even go for Vinny and, and Ronaldinho most definitely just because of my play style. In terms of striker, it becomes a little bit different. But in terms of my play style of having that more agile, smaller player, it would work better for a Vinny or Ronaldinho. And obviously the skills look a little bit better on them more agile players. It just is what it is. That comes down to my personal preference more than anything. I think he's the first 99 in Serie A. Obviously Lucio and uh, Dybala, Marquisio being 98, already has his 97 as well if you do have that one, but a great upgrade nonetheless. So let me know down below if you're grinding him still, what's your thoughts on him? Let me know, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all tomorrow for the next one. Peace.